Good morning, everybody. It's September 6th, 2022. It's time to continue work on the Behringer transformation uh, modification electric guitar bell. And it's time to, to work on the neck. Um, let me uh, uh, two in one Prylon primer coats, as you recall. Awesome spraying um, experience there. <laughs> and we're letting that cure. A little bit longer might do today might paint the metallic blue and sparkle this afternoon but uh, I want to get the neck done first that way I can have the neck ready for paint at the same time so all right so we got all my tools I got my leveling beam got my all the stuff I need to I got 320 sandpaper fresh um, got my two Z max or Z Z file centered Z file from uh, Stumac got my rocker arm I got some sandpaper and we're gonna go with uh, 600 800 1000 12,000 1500 or 1200 1500 2000 uh, 3000 5000 7000 and then all the way up to 10,000 so we're gonna go through the grits and make the frets nice and shiny and I'm gonna also replace the nut because the nut here it's just bad so, all right so we'll start First thing I do is gonna make sure that the, uh, the neck is nice and straight. So I'll get my tools to do that with and just trust rod if need be. Then we'll tape it up and start getting the frets. These frets don't look too bad. They've got some wear on them. Um, really no, I couldn't really tell any uh, fret spur, fret end spur, but we've got a file for that as well. So we'll do the fret ends, make them nice and rounded and make them nice and pretty. So, all right, we'll start working on this. I've shown this process many, many times on videos in the past. So we'll just go briefly today. We won't go in depth like usual. If you want to see any kind of in-depth fret work, please look through my past videos on frets and everything like that, and you'll see how I do it personally. So, all right, so first thing to do is uh, get straight, tape it up, and then mark them and rip it. Yeah, I right, know a quick update. I've got the... Uh, neck completely straight uh, it was straight from when i adjusted earlier yeah it's perfect i removed the nut the old crusty nut i just wanted to show you that plastic cheap pos yeah mm. bye bye we don't need you anymore and uh, i got the fretboard taped up um, and what i'll do now is i'll mark the frets individually and then we're going to put a nice level crown and polish on these frets and let me show you how they look prior to me doing anything to them they're a little uh tarnished a little uh, up and down here and there but overall they're seated fairly well also I took the fret end file and I did all the fret ends so yeah I took care of that step first so I rounded the edges and then rounded so it, it feels really nice in the hand so okay so let me put a mark on these and a level and I'll be right back okay they were marked and I love them just wanted to show you I haven't done the uh, rocker arm yet but they look pretty level let me go through yeah you can see how there's quite a few high and low frets but now they're all level to each other so what now I'll do is I'll take my rocker arm and see how well I did and I'll be right back all right successful leveling all the frets are level to each other now I'll put another I'll mark them again and then we'll put a crown on them and we'll be right back all right all the frets have got a really good crown on them and now we'll go through all the sandpaper grits and we'll round them over and put a sweet little polish on there. And we'll see in a while. It's going to take a while, but all right, let's see a little bit. All right, all the frets have been leveled, crowned, and polished, and they're looking awesome. Just wanted to show you the after. Yeah, I love that. And I did the fret end files, if it'll focus, the fret ends look pretty good. See how I rounded them with minimal tool marks. That's always a good thing. Yeah, and there's a couple spots on this binding that I'll have to fix with some super glue and some color. But yeah, it'll be pretty, pretty sweet. All right. So this fretboard, this neck should play amazing. So the next step is going to be to find a suitable replacement nut I got a bag full of <laughs> that's gonna sound this doesn't sound right but I'm gonna say it I got a bag full of nuts and I'm gonna find a suitable nut for this neck so all right let me do that and I'll see you in a sec all right found a suitable nut I actually have a bone nut that I could use so that's pretty awesome 
And this neck's pretty cool because it's got the uh, strat style flat head. It's not beveled back like you would expect with a nut like that. So it's the best of both worlds. And here's my bone nut. And as you can see, it's perfect. It's a little thinner, but I think it's going to be perfect that way because I'm just going to shave down just a hair lip. And let me get out the glue and we'll glue in the nut. And then we're. Then I'll get some sandpaper and rough up this surface so the, the paint can get attached. And then we might be ready to, uh, got to work on the body yet. So I got to get the body all signed. But anyway, we'll see you next step. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, quick update. I got the nut installed. Looking awesome. And I sanded the, you know, this nut, the bone nut was a little bit thinner. So I sanded it to blend it in and make it look perfect. And when the paint, you know, it's going to look perfect. So, yeah. I spent some time shaping it. It's the exact perfect height. A little bit of room on the low end of the strings so I can adjust the saddles. But you know, adjust the nut if I need to. I need to cut the slots a little bit deeper. But and then I sanded the headstock with a 120 grit sandpaper. So we are good to go for paint. So uh, all I need to do is tape it up and get ready for paint. So now we gotta prep the body sand the body the you know the uh, two-in-one krylon primer coat sand that decently and then that'll be the next step okay we'll see you in a little bit all right good afternoon everybody at this time maybe put some uh, paint some metallic blue and some glitter paint on the body and the neck of the behringer transformation guitar build so we'll see how it goes Ooh, that's all right, let me put a little sand on it. Got my tool with that here, and then we'll see how we go. All right, we are green lit for metallic blue base coats. Uh, wow, I love that uh, Krylon two-in-one. Look at that. All right, sanded it pretty good. 320 grit sandpaper, and blew it off. I'll probably blow it off again, but then we're good to go for some metallic blue paint. <laughs> All right, another update. Uh, I applied the glitter, uh, blue glitter paint, and in my opinion, this is another colossal fail. Um, if you can see up close, uh, it's super textured and it's white, pasty, uneven. It just looks really bad. Uh, uh, I just wanted to show you. Look at that. It's like this white. This has been setting now for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. It's super textured, which I wouldn't mind because I could put some 2K clear coat. But look at the white pastiness of it. And I tried to blow it off. I try, you know, it's pretty much dry to the touch. Uh, I consider this a colossal fail and so I'm gonna break out the old paint thinner and I'm gonna try to get all this off the body and then start again this sometimes happens like I said you think you got the paint thing like down but look at that that just looks I think if I if I even tried putting some 2k clear coat over that it wouldn't improve it at all it would just look I attempted this blue glitter paint before with semi okay results. Now see, now that looks decent. You know, the tech is majorly textured and everything like that, but you see that, that's decent. This is not that. So yeah, I had to make, have to make some hard decisions here. Uh, hopefully the paint thinner doesn't go through the, uh, the primer coats, which it may. But it's going to be better than this. This is not acceptable. So let me move the operation again outside. Put some work at it and, uh, you know, catch it before it cures really, really hard. That's just, that's terrible. I will never use the image glitter paint uh, in any other color than silver. See, if it was silver, you wouldn't be able to tell. But even then, so this is just terrible. So... Unfortunately, uh, this is a fail. I have to figure out another paint scheme. But this, this is what happens when you when you make custom things like this. Uh, it's a it's a sad because the 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 two and one Krylon was so good. But anyway, let me uh, let me get out the paint thinner and try to get all this off here, and 
We'll see you in a little while. All right, later. All right, how's everybody doing? <laughs> uh, another paint crisis averted. Oh man, that was not fun. I just spent the last couple hours uh, stripping the metallic blue, all the gray primer coats, and a little bit of the white primer coats. <laughs> But we saved the body. Oh, that was not fun at all. Yeah, you seen how it looked. It it looked like that and it was just it was not good. So note to self and anybody watching future reference, do not try. Uh, this is the second unsuccessful attempt at glitter paint. I had a debacle on the same color before and I figured I had some knowledge and maybe I could do it better this time. Uh, wasn't the case. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get about 320 grit sandpaper. We're gonna try to sand it smooth again. Uh, go with another round of two and one Krylon. And what do you think about a bright orange finish this time around? What do you think of that? Something like a a Solar guitar bright orange. I don't know. What do you think? It's fairly cheap. It's only eleven dollars a can for the orange spray paint. And of course I do the 2K clear cut over the top. But okay, let me uh, put some sanding on this and we'll see in a little bit. Whew, that was not fun. Need some gasoline and about a half can of paint thinner. Oh man, alright. We'll see in a little bit. Uh, just to warn you, this is right here. I might have had a bad batch, but I've not had luck with the colored ones. I've, I've had okay luck with the silver one. But it's still textured but uh i've seen youtube videos on how people made finishes with this exact same spray paint but i'd have to disagree even this was uh very textured it would require a ton of 2k so only harm done is wasting a good old can of this which is about seven eight bucks from uh walmart and a whole bunch of elbow grease and a whole bunch of time and frustration uh, luckily, uh, I was able to get it off. So, all right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, again, back from the brink. <laughs> I brought this all the way back. I spent the last half an hour sanding it smooth. Uh, you can see <laughs> leftovers from the debauchery. I've been having a lot of paint debauchery lately. <laughs> Maybe the paint in me just like to be debacled. So, uh, sun's getting ready to set here in a little while, so let me see if I can put a little two in one Krylon on here and get back to square one with the primer coats, and then we'll figure out where we're going to go as far as the finish is concerned. I'm really considering doing the, uh, the, uh, the bright orange, like, uh, Ola and his, uh, <laughs> Ola and his guitars because this does have somewhat of a uh, you know that kind of shape of a guitar neck it's body it's kind of similar so let me blow it a little bit and put some primer on here and then we'll be right back all right we'll see a little bit all right sun's about to set but all right Krylon two and one filler primer saves the day yet again boom Back from the abyss. Oh. The phoenix has risen from the ashes. <laughs> I just wasted, you know, a bunch of paint, a bunch of time, a bunch of uh, gasoline and paint thinner. But, yeah. There we go. Bingo. We saved the body. <laughs> Alright, so let me let this... Uh, here for a day or so and it's actually a lot smoother than it was prior to the paint debacle and uh, then we're going to uh, figure out exactly a color that we want to go with uh, might go with a Ola England <laughs> Solar guitar orange that's like a possibility uh, so, and it does have kind of a solar guitar kind of shape in a way. Of course, I'll put my name on the logo, of course. And <laughs> put Behringer back on there, or solar for that matter. 
But okay, hope everybody has a good night and uh, just uh, if anything can be learned from today is no more of this. We will not attempt this kind of paint job again. All right, just a final update on the Behringer Transformation Electric Guitar Build. As you recall, I stripped up all the, still see the little flakes of metallic in there to spur me in the little crevices. And metallic blue to dig at me. But let me show you how good the body turned out. Just real quick, I just wanted to show you in the light here. Look at that. Bang! It actually looks better than it did prior to the paint being uh, uncooperative earlier today. <laughs> Only one flaw is this little nipple here. Which is real tiny, um, but I'm gonna flat. You know, when that hardens and gets, you know, the primer uh, uh, hardens real good. I'm just gonna sand that flat. Whoop! Put a little more primer over there. And if it decides he wants to bubble up again, we'll sand it flat again and put a little primer on there. But nothing compared to hell and what we went through on the Ninja Warrior Two guitar. This is like a breeze. Well, that was not fun today. Uh, two hours of stripping the paint and all that it, it wasn't coming off easy but i saved the day at the end here it looks just as good as it did probably better than it did this morning before i started all that so all right and we'll see you tomorrow we'll figure out a paint all right good morning how is everybody doing september 7th 2022 another quick update i did a little sanding on that little spot yesterday from yesterday and it is looking good yeah it completely made that spot vanish so and in general it looks really good um yeah so i'll put a 320 grit probably a thousand grit sand on this guitar body of course and i have decided i'm going to go with the uh neon orange so we're gonna go with neon orange the full-on solar esque electric guitar and then i'll sand this a little bit more and then tape it off and then go with a neon orange um the only other orange guitar somewhat i have is this guitar here so it's going to be pretty neat uh and then work on the uh the guitar there and then i've got the uh, ninja warrior number three guitar under here i've got a uh dog shaped guitar that I need to continue working on and then I have a double neck Stratocaster right there so got plenty of guitars to work on plenty to do and then I've got so many more ideas but yeah I just want to catch up on that so I go purchase the paint here shortly and uh I think this this might be you know it might be dry enough we'll see um and do put some uh some uh, coats on it this afternoon some neon orange and i definitely want to do the headstock so i'm going to do i decided i'm going to do white logo since i'm using the white pickguard and chrome i could have went with a chrome logo i don't know yet let's see chrome or white logo i'm not really sure it all depends because you know it's white and only chrome is going to be the hardware so probably go white we'll see how it works out but all right and hope everybody's having a good day and we will see you later on this afternoon and we'll continue working on this and this one's almost pretty much dry that I, I'm going to go get the paint for that today, too. And as you recall, it's going to be the opposite of this. This is the anodized blue color. See how it's got that really rich blue color? And it's going to be the opposite of that. So it's going to be the anodized red, which is going to be the chrome. So it's probably going to be a lot different color and texture. But yeah, this has had a few days to dry and it's tacking up really nicely. Can't wait to get that going. But all right, and we'll see everybody shortly. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, good morning. How is everybody doing? September 7th, 2022. Another quick update. I did a little sanding on that little spot yesterday from yesterday. And it is looking good. Yeah, it completely made that spot vanish. So, and in general, it looks really good. Um, yeah, so I'll put a 320 grit, probably a 1000 grit sand on this guitar body, of course. And I have decided I'm going to go with the uh, neon orange. So we're going to go with neon orange, the full-on solar-esque electric guitar. 
and then I'll sand this a little bit more and then tape it off and then go with a neon orange. Um, the only other orange guitar somewhat I have is this guitar here. So it's going to be pretty neat. Uh, and then work on the, uh, the guitar there. And then I've got the uh, Ninja Warrior number three guitar under here. I've got a uh, dog shaped guitar that I need to continue working on. And then I have a double neck Stratocaster right there. So got plenty of guitars to work on, plenty to do. And then I've got so many more ideas. But yeah, I just want to catch up on that. So I go purchase the paint here shortly. And uh, I think this, this might be, you know, it might be dry enough. We'll see. Um, and do put some, uh, some uh, coats on it this afternoon, some neon orange. And I definitely want to do the headstock, so I'm going to do, I decided I'm going to do white logo. Since I'm using the white pickguard and chrome, I could have went with a chrome logo. Uh, I don't know yet. Let's see, chrome or white logo, I'm not really sure. It all depends, because, you know, it's white, and only chrome is going to be the hardware. So, probably go white. We'll see how it works out, but all right. I yeah, hope everybody's having a good day, and we will see you later on this afternoon. We'll continue working on this. And this one's almost pretty much dry that I, I'm going to go get the paint for that today, too. And as you recall, it's going to be the opposite of this. This is the anodized blue color. See how it's got that really rich blue color? And it's going to be the opposite of that, so it's going to be the anodized red, which is going to be the chrome. So it's probably going to be a lot different color and texture, but yeah, this has had a few days to dry, and it's tacking up really nicely. Can't wait to get that going. But all right, and we'll see everybody shortly. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, how's everybody doing? A little update. I think it's the 7th today, uh, August 7th, or September 7th. Uh, uh, I went to Walmart, got some good stuff, and then since we're going to go with the, uh, this is the color we're going to go with, fluorescent orange. And I've seen and read that the best to apply fluorescent colors over a white primer base coat. So we're going to go with some white. And we're going to start with the headstock. I got the headstock taped up. And we're going to go with some white flat primer. And then got the body. And we'll sand on the body and do some white. And we'll see if the weather permitting. It is a little cloudy outside. But I'm going to go ahead and put a little base coat of white on the headstock. And we'll see how that turns out. I'll be, be right back. All right. We've been sanded and blown off. And it's looking pretty good. Got a little spot. I did uh, touch it up with a little bit of wood filler. Hopefully it'll be good for the white primer coats. And the white primer coats is sandable, so all I have failed is I could sand it and put another coat on there. So all right, we'll put some really light coats, really light coats on the body. The headstock turned out really good. I'll show you that in a bit. All right, well, fingers crossed. We'll see. All right, got the first coats of white on there and it's looking good, I must say. That little spot, I think a few more layers will ultimately disappear in the center there. Uh, you can maybe see it, just a little hair right there, if you can see it in the reflection, yeah. Put a little wood filler in there too, so. This is a flat primer, so when it's completely flat, because when it's shiny, I guess it's still kind of wet, which is kind of cool. But you can judge it that way. So, we'll let it uh, dry off a little bit, and or actually cure or set, uh, flash off, and become... Uh, flat and that we'll just add another coat and I think with primer coat it's not really super susceptible to uh, reacting with the underlying coats but I'll definitely do it within two hours I guess the window was two hours or two days kind of thing so all right looking pretty good so we'll let this uh, do what it's gonna do and we'll put another couple coats and we'll see you in a little bit all right another quick update redemption is mine oh yes Whew. I was a little bit worried there for a sec, but yeah, we uh, we corrected the indiscretion of yesterday. So, in that spot, if you could see, I put enough layers on there. I think it'll dry, and it'll be unnoticeable, especially when the neon orange paint goes on. But it's still wet. You can tell it's a flat uh, flat primer. So when it's uh, shiny like that, it's still wet. So. We're going to give this like a full two days to cure. That way there's no issues with any paint at all. So hopefully, uh, but yeah, turned out really good. I'm really happy. 
and uh, yeah, it's not the glitter paint that we had planned from the beginning, but it's just as cool. I mean, I mean, who who can't argue with a guitar that's going to be this color? And it's going to have gloss because the 2K is going to go over that. I do believe this is somewhat flat. It does have a glossy appearance on the label, but I think it's going to be more or less flat. So when I put the 2K clear coat, and I did pick up the paint for the uh, Serpent Sting number 2 guitar. And this, this lid that doesn't do it credit. It's definitely going to be the opposite. I've seen the, the results and it's more of this color. The deep rich red than this brown looking whatever cap they have on here. But anyway, just wanted to give another quick update. And this will conclude progress on today. Because I'm tired. We have company visiting from out of town. My dad's uh, son is here and he's a cool guy named Danny. So I'm going to spend a little time and do a little bond, you know, family time. And uh, hopefully this dries perfect as it looks now. So, all right, just wanted to show you. This has had a little time to cure. And it's a little duller. But when it gets completely dull, it'll be drier. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And I can't wait to apply the the, uh, the orange to it. But all right, hope everybody's having a good night. And we will see you soon.